Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Dave Hedeman. I'm the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about multi-drawings. Now when I talk about the term multi-drawing, what I mean is when you want to place multiple beams or multiple parts on a larger sheet of paper, typically in the US a 24 by 36. So for an assembly sheet, you might see something like six to eight beams on that drawing. You might see two to four columns all on the same sheet. And also the parts should be renumbered. Uh, the default settings, uh, let's say we're dealing with sheet five, would put the beams on there and then rename them 5B1, 5B2, and so on. So the first thing you need to do is have your assembly drawings created or your part drawings created. And in this case, because I'm in the US Imperial environment, I have used the US beam settings to create my beam drawings. Now the US beam settings um, have a lot of the same dimensional properties as the regular beam drawing settings, but instead of having a title block and a bill of material, it simply has a call off underneath the beam. In this case, the drawing size is represented by the blue line, and that blue line will not transfer over to the multi-drawing, but it does represent the amount of space that this beam drawing is going to take up once I place it on a 24 by 36 sheet. So you do want to make sure that that blue border is as small as it needs to be. Uh, in this case, I probably could make it a little bit uh, shorter in height, but I'm just going to let it go uh, for this example. And you want to make sure that you do all of your scrubbing here on the single view before you put it on a multi-drawing. Changes that you make here will move forward into that multi-drawing, but they will not go backwards into this sheet if you try to scrub um, the, the full-size sheet. So you always want to make sure all of your scrubbing is done before you start putting on larger drawings. So let's close this down and take a look at a couple of the different ways that you can create multi-drawings. The first is leaving it up to Tekla to choose how many parts should go on a sheet. So I'll go ahead and set up my drawing properties for a multi-drawing. I'm going to go ahead and load the multi-drawings preset that's available in the US Imperial environment. If you want, you can set a sheet number. So you can start it at sheet 100 to have 100B1, B2, and so on. I'm just going to leave this at sheet 1. Then what you do is you go and highlight several of the drawings from the list just using the shift key. Um, doesn't matter how many you select. And then you can right click and choose create drawings, multi drawing. And then the important part here is selected drawings with layout. Both selected drawings and selected drawings with layout will place these on a 24 by 36 sheet. But the width layout brings over that nice bold call off that says, you know, one beam B1, or in this case, it'll say one beam one B1. If you don't choose the width layout option, it will get a basic view name, but it will take on the last view properties that you, uh, you were working with. So it's a little bit more difficult to control. Using the layout or the template is much better. So I will choose that option, and Tekla will figure out on its own uh, how many drawings or how many beams will fit on a sheet. In this case, we can see that it's placed four beams on the first sheet, three beams on the second, and three beams on the third. It's also created three new M-type drawings, M1, M2, M3. So those are my multi-drawings. If I go and look at one of those multi-drawings, like sheet one, we can see that Tekla took those views and then arranged them on the sheet to try to make them fit. Now you can come in here and move some of these views around. So if you see that there's like a section that's overlapping or something like that, it's okay to move it somewhere else. But that's the extent of the scrubbing that I would do on this sheet. It's important to note that any changes you make here will be overwritten if something happens to the original assembly drawing. We can also see that all of these have been renumbered, 1B1, 1B2, and so on. And then the title block has also been created. So that's the first method, leaving it up to Tekla how many views can fit on a sheet. I personally prefer a more manual method because then I control exactly how many get located on a sheet. For example, if I look at this sheet two, we can see that there is a much larger view required for this cranked beam, but I probably could have fit a couple more beam details on here. So if I'm doing the work, then I can set up this drawing exactly how I like. So let's take a look at that process. The first thing you want to do is you want to create blank multi drawings. So typically what I would do is come up here to my multi drawing drop down in the drawings and reports menu and just choose empty drawing a few times. That way I get myself a couple of sheets to work with. The first available sheet that's blank is sheet four. So I'll go ahead and open that and you can see that there's nothing on here right now. And the basic process is to select the drawing or drawings that you want to link. You right click on it and choose link drawing views again with layout that brings over that big call off. 
So you can see it gets placed on the sheet, the bill material gets created, and then you can go ahead and locate that view wherever you want. Now, let's say that I don't do it one at a time and I highlight several sheets and then I right click and do the same, link drawing views with layout. It places all of the views on the drawing, but that stacks them on top of each other. So what you can do is right click in the background and choose arrange drawing views. That will take the views and spread them out where Tecla tries to fit them on a sheet. As we can see here, I perhaps chose too many drawings or I chose um, views that would not fit on this sheet. So now I have a problem. I can either try and relocate these and really squeeze them in here, or I can remove them from the sheet. As long as I have not closed and saved this drawing, I'm still okay. Those drawings uh, that have changed to 4B7, 4B6, all I have to do is hit undo to remove those from the sheet. And as they get removed, they get their original number back. B17. If I hit undo again, 4B6 becomes B16. So I can undo the process, but if I close and save the drawing, those marks are now set in stone. So you definitely don't want to do that because then there's an extra step required to fix that if that happens. If that does occur to you, let me go ahead and arrange these views here and I'll close and save the sheet. Um, if you do find that you accidentally number apart, it's now 4B13 and you realize that's not going to fit and you have to go back and start over again, you have to clear the number for that part. You can do so by using the drawing list to select that beam or beams if it's a combination. And then you can go up to your uh, drawings and reports menu, choose change number and you want to clear the part and assembly numbers. That will set it back to B0, so it actually clears it out completely, and then you can go through the process again, where you do a normal numbering, you create the assembly drawing, it takes the sequential B mark, and then place it on a new multi-sheet, like sheet 7. So you definitely want to take care not to do that, but there are some ways to correct the situation if it happens. So, as always, if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out to your local help desk for assistance. I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.